Hello there, thank you for watching. My name is Keith from the Valley Hive, and today we're going to inspect a colony of bees that was established from a package we installed 10 days ago. And so the tools that you'll need to do this, you need a gallon of syrup, you need your smoker, and your hive tool. So we just installed a package of bees 10 days ago, and so now we're going to make sure that we have a functioning colony that we actually have a laying queen. And to lift up the lid, little puffs of smoke there to settle them down just a bit. And we're going to take the outside frame out first, so that way we can make room to work the other frames. This is how we're able to avoid rolling bees and accidentally killing the queen. And so once we get inside of the colony here, we're able to find a middle frame that's likely to have eggs and brood. We're going to take out the queen cage from, from installation. And now we're going to look for eggs. And what's important is that we don't need to find the queen. For doing this, because all we need to do is find evidence of her. And if we see eggs, we see one egg per cell, a translucent grain of rice, then we know that she is laying and the colony is well on its way. Now that I established that the queen is laying, I put the frame back. And make sure that all of the end bars inside of the hive box are touching so that we can maintain bee space throughout the colony. And pull in the last frame. Puffs of smoke to have them go down between the frames. Make sure they have a gallon of syrup. What you want to do, especially when you're drawing out new comb and you have either bare foundation or bare plastic, is to feed them one to one syrup. And this really helps them draw out that comb. Remember that this is not honey for you. This is just food for them. And once you give them the syrup, and the feeder is full, put on the lid, and congratulations, you have a working colony. 